Bitch. We like to make videos online that just kind of push the boundaries. The purpose in our videos is mostly just to make people laugh, but also kind of freak them out a little bit. We both have had videos go massively viral. The attention is well loved. I walked into the store with Bamarin, and you know, we found an ice cream. I opened it up, licked it. Back, let's go, let's go. I decided to drink mouthwash and gargle it back into the bottle and put it back on the shelf. It's a minty and fresh. The way you spit it back, <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong because when we did our videos, we actually paid for the products. We did this because we want our faces out there. We wanted attention. There was literally no other reason besides us literally just wanting to be famous. Right after we made our viral videos, we just posted them as soon as possible and it went crazy. The next morning when I woke up, 30 million views. It went insane. Millions of views. I was literally just sitting on my bed, scrolling, scrolling through notifications over and over. And it went to 18 million by the end of the night. A lot of consequences came with these videos. I actually got fired from my job. I'm banned from Walmart and I got banned from Instagram for about a month and a half. I opened up my social media and saw thousands of death threats in my DMs of people genuinely wanting to hurt me. The police actually showed up at my job, but luckily I made sure to keep the receipt in my wallet because I'm smart like that. I had to go to the police station for five hours. Ever since we made our mark on the influencer community, we realized that it was the place for us and we don't ever want to leave. We're definitely not going to stop here. <laughs> if anything, we're just going to get more and more followers. Okay, <laughs> now you did this by design, right? Created, you, yes. You wanted to get, you wanted it to go viral, you wanted to get millions of people to look at this. And that we did, yeah. Yeah, and how do you monetize that? Well, I mean, after going massively viral and having thousands of celebrities tweet about you and talk about you for weeks straight, I mean, it's pretty easy for brands to reach out and pay you. We Same both, with you? Yeah, we actually both have running ads on Snapchat right now. You've uh -huh. probably seen them. Yeah. And so you make money, like money to live on money? Yeah, lots of it. So you had negative backlash from this, though. That's all that we got was negative backlash and money. That's literally it. You've been bullied online. Yeah. Or, like, how so? There were people on social media acting like they knew me and like being like, oh, I used to be friends with him. Oh, he's blah, 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 blah. And they would get like 200,000 likes on the tweet. Okay. It's like, literally, if you talk about me, you can go viral for a day. Because okay. that's how relevant I am. The friendship has been strained with Bamron. Lars has a habit of taking credit and not giving credit where credit is due. But what y'all need to know is the ice cream video was my idea. <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's why my nails are in the video. I had to be a part of it. Yeah. Okay. Your nails are in the video because I hand you the ice cream, but I'm the mm -hmm. one in the video, so it doesn't matter whose idea it was. You're lucky I even recorded it. I'm more relevant than you, so I'm not going to talk about you. Okay, but I constantly give you video ideas. Like I didn't come on here to fight you. Like, we can talk about this somewhere else. We're literally on Dr. Phil. Like, let's talk to right. him. Yeah. Yeah, let's continue. <laughs>